Hello, I'm Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com. This is the chart for the new moon, 25th of September. It's set for the UK and it's occurring at 22.54 British summer time. And obviously this is different depending on your location. But in this chart for the UK, the rising sign, which is here, ascendant, is Cancer. Now I'm using whole signs to represent the houses and here we have the new moon Libra, two degrees and it's only just literally on Friday we had the autumn equinox. The, an equinox is equal so we have equal days and equal nights so for us in the northern hemisphere that means that our days are going to get shorter and we're heading towards winter. Now, we have at this moment in time a fair number of planets that are retrograde. Um, it's from Mercury, it's got Pluto, Saturn, Neptune, Jupiter, Chiron, Uranus, so that's seven planets. Now, what does retrograde mean? It means going backwards, reviewing, very important. And planets go retrograde apart from the sun and moon every year, so it's not unusual. But first of all, let's look at the sun and moon. Libra is the sign of diplomacy. It's a cardinal sign, which means it initiates, hence the equinox. The two equinoxes, the two solstice, are the cardinal signs. So that's Libra, Aries, Cancer, Capricorn. So it initiates, it starts things. However, we have got Venus, here, here is Venus right now, in Virgo and next door, very close, is Mercury also now, like it's gone back into Virgo retrograde. We have Mercury retrograde times of year and it does happen three times, can really upset plans and especially technology and arrangements and people not getting the email or you know, misinterpreting. I've had problems with my bank, online bank, it's somebody uh, saying it was corrupt, you know, all those kind of things. And I do find it useful as an astrologer to recognise, oh, okay, it's Mercury retrograde. You know, in other words, not to fight that energy. Now, Libra, as I said, is to do with cardinal, but it's also balance and relationships. Diplomacy is Libra. The other Venus ruled sign, of course, is Taurus, which is a much more physical, sensual sign. But now is the time of year when diplomacy becomes really, really important, especially in world affairs right now. The negative of Libra can be indecision. It wants balance, harmony, I'm sure I've said this before, but it, it doesn't make up its mind easily. <laughs> so we go, oh, dithering around. And so it's important to acknowledge Mars. Mars currently is in Gemini, an air sign, trining Saturn. And that is a very, very auspicious combination of getting things done. Saturn is, likes the sign of Aquarius, Mars is happy enough in Gemini, it's no bigger problem. And also the other very striking positive energy we have with Pluto in Capricorn. I say Pluto is making good contacts, it is, along with Venus and Mercury. And the Sun and Moon aren't far away. So here we have transformation. That's what Pluto is all about. It's connecting up to Venus in Virgo and Mercury in Virgo. So Venus is the lover archetype and Mercury is the storyteller, the messenger. So we have the ability to t change our story and make create that story with a positive intention. We also, with that Mars and Saturn, which is a very, very close combination. If you see 18 degrees, 19 degrees, it's within a couple of days, it's exact. That's the warrior energy. That's what Mars is. And with Saturn, the strategics, being a master. 
So here I'm going, what do we want to do at this new moon? Apart from create new intentions. The other important planet here is Neptune in Pisces, its own sign, retrograde, along with most of the other planets. Uh, Venus and Mercury have just been opposite that. And dreams are very much to do with Neptune. So if you have got any planet in your chart, which is a very strong planet of, of Neptune, you might well have been having very vivid dreams. I know I have quite extraordinary. So it's to take notice of dreams. Before you go to sleep, <laughs> ask that you can be reminded of your dream when you wake up. Very important. Otherwise, yeah, people say, oh, I don't dream. Well, we all do. <laughs> we would go insane. We would. So it's important to listen to those messages. Also, messages can come via emails, newsletters such as mine. But notice what is the universe trying to tell you? I found uh, a bookmark the other day. I don't know where it could come from, but it was a really lovely, interesting bookmark all about the soul. And I went, oh, where's that arrived? You know, so that's exactly the kind of thing that can occur when Mercury is retrograde. So Mercury, the storyteller, the messenger, is retracing its steps it will go direct on the 2nd of October and by the 16th of October it's past what we call the shadow. So it went retrograde the day of the full moon just literally after the Queen Elizabeth died. Very, very powerful and significant. So now questions. That's what Mercury wants to do. It wants to ask us questions. Jupiter is also very significant here. It's retrograde at three degrees of Aries, exactly opposite the new moon. Now, Jupiter is a great benefic. You know, it's not a bad planet. It doesn't do bad things, usually. It can over-exaggerate. That's the tendency. It is the huge, massive planet and therefore can be the gambler and taking risks that are, are unnecessary. It needs to be balanced with Saturn, in other words, because Saturn is very cautious. So the two, when they're combined, and they do combine, because Jupiter is the side of Mars, and Mars is very confident with Saturn. So faith in the future is my note for Jupiter, and it's very much the explorer or the adventurer, and it is to do with the law and to do with truth. And to recognise the positive future, to create that in your world. I've been doing new moon wishes and this new moon is saying very much, what do I want to create that brings more love into my life? Healthier relationships. Libra is governed by Venus, which is also to do with money. I notice in the UK we just had this unbelievable... <laughs> unbelievable budget which is you know I, I I can't really speak about it it's too um, emotional one thing I can offer is I, I do a, a very good archetype report by Stephen Forrest it's called Sky Within it's on my Healing Stars shop website you might want to look at it I have it on special offer right now and also the Goddess report which is a really wonderful report, very much to do with 12 different goddess archetypes. And it's very, it's like a, it's like a book, it's huge. And certainly I would say without a doubt, if you haven't already got it, it's really worth buying to endorse the feminine archetypes of which, as I said, there are 12. So notice the dreams, notice your visions, Clearing stuff away is also a really good thing to do when planets are retrograde. I know I've got a lot of paper uh, and I go, why have I got so much paper? <laughs> I don't need all this paper. Uh, I ran out of paper today. So my printer was telling me, look at what I am storing. 
and that clutter and I can't find things. So all of this is a really good detoxing of that Virgo energy to create more healing in your life. So thank you for watching and Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com.